GI Mob shit, and I'm back. So we're going to be going on that West Bank with it. LGs. We're going to be talking about Charles Lebrunet. You already know what it is. So it would be Charles Lebrunet. And another guy by the name of Frank Daniels. That will be cutting up on the West Bank of New Orleans. They will have a lot of stuff going on. And it will wind up being brought up on charges and indicted second degree murder charges. So I'm going to read to y'all what I found on Charles Cheddar, Lebrunet, and Frank Daniels. So it's in New Orleans, man, please guilty to federal gun charges. Charles S. Lebrunet, a.k.a. Cheddar, age 21, a resident of New Orleans, Louisiana, played guilty yesterday in federal court before U.S. Judge Kurt D. Engelhardt to one count indictment for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon announced U.S. District Attorney Jim Letton. Well, U.S. Attorney Jim Letton. According to factual basis, after receiving information that the defendant was in possession of numerous firearms, NOPD conducted a surveillance on Lebrunet's residence on May 25, 2010. Officer noted the defendant appeared to adjust something in his waistband as he was exiting his residence to get into a vehicle. When officers conducted a traffic stop, they discovered that Lebrunet was in possession of a Glock Mile 17 9mm caliber pistol. Additionally, Lebrunet was previously convicted on July 31st, 2009 in Orleans Parish for illegal carrying of a firearm. Second conviction. Lebrunet was also on probation at the time he possessed a firearm, and as such, Lebrunet faces a maximum possible, possible sentence of 10 years imprisonment, a $250,000 fine, and three years of supervised release. It said the NOPD issued an arrest warrant for a man laying in a hospital bed recovering from gunshot wounds. Police say they will arrest 26-year-old Charles Lebrunet when he is discharged from the hospital in connection with the murder of Stephen Mosley. Mosley was killed September 13, 2015 in the 1100 block of Valet Street in Algiers. Police say Mosley was found shot, shot dead on the front lawn of his house. Detectives say that they identified Lebrunet as the suspect in the case. He will be booked with second-degree murder. Lebrunet is currently in the hospital being treated for multiple gunshot wounds he suffered from the incident. Police say it happened October 29, 2015 in a 3,000 block of Magdalene Street. It's a man jumps off West Bank Expressway captured after taking hostage. A man described that one of LGL's most wanted criminals was apprehended Tuesday after jumping off the West Bank Expressway and taking a man hostage inside a home. New Orleans, a man described as one of New Orleans' most wanted criminals was apprehended Tuesday after jumping off the West Bank Expressway and taking a man hostage inside of his home. Major David Critch say officers officer conducting surveillance noticed 21-year-old Charles Lebrunet leaving his home on Elizardi Street with what appeared to be a gun in his waistband. Officers said they followed Lebrunet who made his way to the West Bank Expressway and then jumped off nearly 20 feet below before running into a home. A dramatic police chase ended in Algiers this afternoon after the suspect jumped from the West Bank Expressway. And officers tell us he is one of the most wanted men in the area. It all happened near the Terry Parkway exit of the expressway. WDSU News reporter Travers Mackle explains how police ended things peacefully. We're here in Algiers where police officers tell us they got a man off the street who they call one of the most violent people in Algiers, 21-year-old Charles Labarette. Police officers tell us that they were doing surveillance at a house in Algiers when they say Labarette pulled up with a gun in his waistband. They realized who he was, so officers began chasing him. He got up on the West Bank Expressway. When he realized officers were pursuing him, they say Labarette jumped off the West Bank Expressway, ran into a house where he took a man hostage. The SWAT team was called in, but before the SWAT officers arrived, police officers say Labarette gave himself up. Well, we feel like Charles Lovinet is, is our most violent offender in Algiers and on the West Bank, actually. Police officers tell us Labarette has been charged with an assortment of crimes. He is in police custody right now. Reporting on your side in Algiers, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News. And amazingly, Lavarette wasn't hurt when he jumped from the expressway. Police say he has been charged with murder twice, but never convicted. Chris said the officers found a second convicted 
Felon 22-year-old Kendrick Wilkerson inside the Elizardi Street home. Man pleads guilty in 2015 to Algiers, Algiers murder for hire case against 28 years. One of the alleged higher hands in the Algiers murder for hire case pleads guilty and received a 20, 28 year sentence today. Orleans Parish Criminal District Judge Benedict Willard handed down a sentence to Frank Daniels III after he pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit second degree murder and manslaughter under the arraignment with the district attorney's office. Frank Daniels, 32, was charged with two other men in the 2015 death of Stephen Mosley. Mosley was 33 and was gunned down in front of his home on September 13th. Daniels and Charles Cheddar Levernet were, were arrested and indicted on second-degree murder charges in 2016. Prosecutors later re-indicted the men on first-degree murder charges and added Frank Morris as a co-defendant. Authorities have said they believe Morris hired Levernet and Daniels to carry out the killings. Levernet and Morris have not yet faced trial. After Daniels P. hearing Tuesday, Mosley's sister Charlene Green said Daniels accepting responsibility for Mosley's killing won't bring back her brother. But it was something she prayed for since his death. Mosley left behind five daughters who now range in the age range from 7 to 21 and became a grandfather two years ago. Mosley's grandson was born on his birthday. His sister said Mosley was a hard worker and could be stubborn at times. But overall, he was a good person, she said. Daniels apologized in court, Green said, and told Mosley's family he didn't deserve forgiveness. Green said she has forgiven him. I hope this is a lesson learned for him, she said. Green said she was satisfied with the plea agreement, but noted this isn't yet over for her family. So they really was cutting up on that West Bank. And I never even had heard of the I never even had heard the name Charles Lebernet or Cheddar. If I ain't mistaken, I probably did hear the Cheddar name before, though. But that probably was from the Cheddar from downtown. I ain't quite sure. But y'all get in that comment section, man. Hit that like button. Make sure the notifications turned on. And hit that subscribe button, man. And stay plugged. Slung 1200 GGI Mob shit. I just hit my shooter, told him knock his head off. Leave him on the block. Yeah, it's fuck the ops. Riding with the mob. With the mock up in my pot. 30 in the Glock. That's about a hundred shots. I get it out the mud. Oh, I get it in blood. Yeah, I'm the plug. I'm show love like bug. Trying to get my family and my niggas out the hood. Pedal to the metal roller, op up in the wood. Gang, gang shit. I be on it like I'm sure. Smoking on that Manny Pacquiao, that be that good.